Cindy Otter here with my artsy endeavors. Yes, 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 we have moved. I am back in my studio. Um, um, I'm in the, my new studio, I should say. I am only partially set up. Um, we don't have all of our belongings down here yet. We're doing it in a few loads at a time. But I have my desk. I only have one light, so I might be a little bit off balance here on the light, but hey, I'm working with what I've got. Today, we're going to talk about our March uh, review, okay? Um, in March, you know, lately, well, I shouldn't say lately, last year I was doing a lot of reviews on uh, books, right? Well, this, this month and this year, like I've told you guys before, I am focusing on chronic pain. So for the month of March, for March's review, which, you know, I want to get, I need to get these, I need to get these uh, labeled so I know what month I'm on. But this one is March, and the only reason I know that is because when you open the folder, the March card is here, which I have not taken, haven't done yet. But anyways, um, so reviews. Uh, last year, like I said, I did a lot of reviews of books. Um, this year, I'm bringing more chronic pain into this because I think it's very important. I think there's a lot of people out there suffering with the chronic pain. And um, I feel like my insight of what I have to deal with on a daily basis is going to help somebody else. So that is why I'm focusing on chronic pain. So this month in March, um, what I'm going to talk about are lessons learned. So let me find, um, these are just some papers that, I don't know, I was messing around with at my mother-in-law's um, when I didn't have my studio and I was going crazy, but uh, we're going to talk more about that. Um, let me find, hmm, I like this, I like this one. All right, so we're going to use this. Uh, we're going to talk about lessons learned today. And the lessons that I'm referring to are what happened when I moved. Now, when I moved, the first thing um, I found out is it, it, it's very difficult. <laughs> um, my husband and I have moved plenty of times before, but it was always not in the chronic pain mode. And um, let's see, what colors do I want today? I want gray. What do I want with gray? Let's do gray and let's do a little bit of pink. And maybe we'll throw a little bit of red in there. Um, so, lessons that I learned. Previously, like I said, my husband and I have moved many, many times before. And we've never, you know, had any issues. Um, I think this is the fourth house. Yeah, the fourth house we've purchased. So it's not something that, you know, we've never done before. We, we get it. We understand it. It's not a problem. Well... When all of this started happening, I didn't even think about the fact, I didn't think about the chronic pain, really. Um, I thought about, you know, how exciting it was. Ooh, that looks nasty. Look, it's all, you see it? That's in there. Let's just see what comes out. Paint. Um, hey, we're going to play with it. You know, I wasn't thinking about, um, yeah, I understood, let me, let me get my thoughts together here. I understood that, yes, I have chronic pain, and yes, I have to be careful. I understood, yes, Cindy, you can't lift up all the boxes, you can't move and lug furniture. I get it. All of that I understood. But what I didn't understand is how important art has become to my daily life. That's really nasty. I'm going to have to use that up. So I didn't even think about it. I, I did, but I didn't. Okay. Um, I made sure I had a... I took my two carts. Before I left home, our previous home, I took my two carts. I completely cleaned them off. And then I put on them supplies that I thought would be something I would you know, work with while I was down south. Um, I actually had to come down first because I had a lot of legal stuff I had to get taken care of um, for the banks, that kind of stuff. So I come down ahead of my husband and um, 
you know, I came down with the understanding that I've got these two carts and, you know, I'll just work off these carts. It's all good. It's not a problem. Well, let me tell you, I found out and, you know, a friend of mine, I was talking to a friend of mine this morning about it, and um, I found out that art is not what I do. Um, art is who I am at this point. Does that make sense? It was very, very difficult for me to find this calm place, this, this, um, the serenity that I have when I sit at my desk. Let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, okay, so we're talking about the lessons I've learned. Um, I found out, I had thought, all right, let me back up. I had thought when I left New York that what I had on my carts was going to be sufficient for me to be able to play um, until we moved into our home, until we closed on our home and moved in, right? So, as you guys know, if you followed my post, you saw that um, I set up at my mother-in-law's dining room table. I did have my camera with me. I also had my tripod and I had my two carts of stuff. Let me tell you, it, it was not, not that I expect it to be the same, but it was so difficult for me to try to keep creating um, and to create in a way that I wanted to without having my own space. Now, you know, I can hear some people say, oh yeah, you can create anywhere, it's no big deal, you know, I can create on the couch, I can create. It's different, let me tell you, it's different. When I was home, when I was back in New York, in my old house, and I wanted to create on the couch, I could create on the couch, but I could also get up and walk into the other room and get a supply or get something else that I needed or, um, you know, find the certain piece of paper. And what I found out is while I was down at my, my in-laws, um, I couldn't do that. I could not do that. And no, I just did. I put that in there. That's what I figured. Um, I, I couldn't just get up and go in the other room and pick up what I was looking for. I'm looking for a, a sponge. You know, I couldn't do that. It, that wasn't that wasn't possible. So I learned several valuable lessons about this. One thing I learned is that I have to have my own space. I have to be able to, in order for me to be feel comfortable, in order for me to feel um, happy with what I'm doing, um, I have to have space. Oops, and guess what? This fine liner wasn't shook up. This is, all right, just to let you guys know what I'm doing here. This is a fine liner, and it's got golden Payne's Gray in it. There's the Payne's Gray. And um, I just wanted a little bit out because I wanted to color this white a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to take this. And I just wanted to color it a little bit. I didn't get more. There we go. Just to give it a different off color. Um, all right, so what was I saying? You know, I. it's totally different. It's, it's, it is a, um, a style of creating that I found that I'm not comfortable with. I found out that I like um, being in my own area. I like being in my own space. I like being where I'm comfortable. I don't have to worry about getting paint on the table. I don't have to worry about um, anything that I'm doing. I don't have to worry about um, being loud so the TV, you know, I'm interrupting a TV program or, um, you know, I need to get done and be cleaned up because dinner's, you know, in a half an hour. I didn't have to, I don't have to worry about all that stuff when I'm in my own home and in my own space. 
And, you know, I really didn't think it was going to bother me. I didn't think there was going to be an issue. I figured, you know, no big deal. I'll just, you know, pick up stuff and go. But it did. It bothered me. It bothered me that, um, and I'm not saying that they, my in-laws, they could have cared less what I did. They, they were happy. It didn't matter. You know, they were just happy to have me there. Um, but to me, I found for my own sanity, my own um, contentment, my own feeling secure in my own body, place, and time, I have to have this, which I didn't expect that feeling. I didn't expect to feel those things. I didn't expect to feel completely discombobulated because I wasn't sitting in my art room. I didn't expect um, to have that affect me the way it did. I'll be right back. I'm going to dry this up. Okay, so what did I do about it? <laughs> um, honestly, there, I didn't really have much to do about it. And the reason being is, you know, my the rest of my stuff was up in New York. Um, you know, I was at my in-laws, which is fine. Like I said, there, there was no issue with whatever I wanted to do. You know, had I wanted to, you know, start, pull out a jelly plate and start jelly printing papers, they didn't care. It wasn't about that. It was about me um, feeling insecure in the spot that I was in. Does that make sense? And you're like, okay, well, how's this all tie in with chronic pain? Well, the reason I'm in this boat, and the reason I'm in this place in my life is because of chronic pain. Um, my previous life, you know, I was always, I was always on the go. I was never home, you know, it, it was just, you know, I worked on the road. I, there was a ton of driving, you know, or I was in the office, whatever. I was always go, 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 and gone. Pardon me, I'm gonna sneeze. And I didn't. Okay. Um, so it wasn't, um, this wasn't a norm for me. This staying home and creating. Yeah, I created. I, I worked with stained glass. And I had my stuff in a um, an artisan's co-op. So, yeah, I've always been creative. But the whole point of staying home and having that space that's yours um, I didn't, I was not used to that. Well, apparently now I am because I was telling my husband, we actually, I talked to him about it last night and I said, I felt so just discombobulated. I didn't feel right. I felt antsy, anxious, um, just not where I needed to be. It, it wasn't, it wasn't good for me. So yeah, that was a huge lesson for me to learn. I'm looking for a, hang on just a second. Do, do, do. I want to do some kind of a border on this, but I don't want to. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Let me find a border. I'll be right back. All right, so um, I decided not on a border, but I got this Americana. Um, ebony black that I put this little top on and then I just have a pin I don't know if you can see it or not that I just bent over and that pretty much keeps it from drying out so um, I just put that down here and I want it to be a darker gray there we go and I want this on here so the whole point to this and the whole moral to my story is when you're in chronic pain and you find that place that you can go to to escape, um, enjoy that place. And don't let anybody tell you that, oh yeah, it's no big deal, you can just create anywhere. Um, if creating is what keeps you sane, and able to deal with the pain, then um, make sure that you have that place. Even if you go on vacation, make sure you have a little space that you can set up for you um, with things that you need. 
Now, like I said, I was completely discombobulated because I wasn't on vacation. I was here for a couple weeks before, you know, the move and the clothes and the whole lot. So it, at that point, it was my daily life. I was here and I didn't have any way to change it. Um, there was no sense going out and just buying supplies because I was just waiting for them to get here. There was no sense, um, you know, trying to set up a more permanent location where I was at because I wasn't going to be there that long. So there was just all these factors and, and it just brought up all these feelings. And honestly, it shocked me. I did not expect all of this to come out of the situation I was in. So I'm going to dry this real quick. Then I'm going to do a little bit of journaling on it. And um, right here, this is a card. This is a tag that I actually made a couple nights ago. Actually, it was a week ago, a week ago today. Um, and it was my first art in my new home, which is in Laura's South Carolina now. And I really want to put this onto here because um, this explains or shows um, what I needed to do to be home to me. Okay, so I'll explain it a little bit in a, in a second. I'm going to dry this up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I did a little bit of journaling on here. I did some here, here, and here. Um, this is just a cheap pen that I found at the Dollar Tree. Um, they're in steel um, cases. This one's blue, this one's black. And actually, one of the things I wanted to find out is if they are water soluble. So let's find out, where's my water? Let's find out. I need more water than that. Um, not so much. Not really. Just want to see if. Look at that. They are not water soluble. Woohoo! They're permanent. Cool beans. All right, so we tried that. Let me just dry that real quick. Um, all right, so. This is the tag that I made. Um, I made this the first night that we were here. Uh, once I got my desk set up and I could find a few supplies. And like I said, I really want that to be um, in my review this month as a lesson learned because this is a huge lesson for me. Um, I did not, it, I, I honestly did not realize, I'm looking for my here. I did not realize how, how, much I use my space, how much I use, um, look at these, aren't these cool? I found them the other day in a scrapbook shop. Um, I, here we go, we'll do a wise old owl. You know, I just, I didn't realize how much it meant to me and how much I need my art space and how much I need to um, be in my own space. So another thing I want to do, um, I know it looks kind of funny with the pink and gray and then these colors. That's all right. It's all good. I want to put a few of these on here. These are words that you can get from Gina Ahrens. She has a download in her Etsy shop. Um, if you don't know who that is, uh, shame on you. <laughs> um, you definitely need to uh, check out her Etsy shop. And I just want to take some of these words that I've got and put them on this page because some of these are the feelings that, you know, I was feeling. Um, you know, I was, I, I, this is what I need. I need to be harmonious. I need to be myself. Um, let's see. Awesome, authentic, nurturing, choose your path, reflection, awareness. This is a good one, awareness, because like I said, I was not aware that I had to have this space and this time to keep me, um, you know, in the right form of mind, I guess, is the only way I can say it. Uh, choose your path, inspire, learn, sublime, da -da, da -da, da -da, reflection. Again, this is a reflection on that I have done to figure out, wow, I really need this. I need this space. I need this. It hasn't become, you know, it, it's it's not a hobby. This, at this point, is my lifeline. This is who I am. Um, and the biggest one of all is we just have to learn how to breathe, too. 
And I actually, um, a couple days ago, I, I had a mini meltdown, right? We all have them, right? And it was, it was then, and it was through conversations with friends at that point that I understood, oh my gosh, you know, I need this stuff. And yeah, it's not um, what I do anymore. It's, and, and, and the way my dear friend said it is, it's who I am. And she's so right. It's just, this is who I am now. And when I don't have this, um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say in a stable mind, because that sounds funny. I'm just not, just not happy. Is happy the word? No. I'm not content. I'm not, I think content's the word. There's a lot of antsy, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of, you know, I, I just, urgh, something's wrong and I need to make it right. So, that is my review for this month. And, you know, I hope that you'll think about it. Um, if you get, if, you know, you're dealing with chronic pain and you have found something that makes you um, able to survive the chronic pain, able to deal with it on a daily basis, you know, maybe you read. Okay, maybe you go curl up on your couch with a favorite blanket and read. Well, you know, if you have to go somewhere, take that favorite blanket with you. Um, you know, maybe you listen to music. If you have to go somewhere, whether it's on vacation or you're somewhere where you're not, you know, you're not going to be able to be in your own comfort zone, take your iPad or iPad iPod and make sure you have a headset and listen to that music. So I've learned over all of this, my life lesson is um, I need to have my art. I need to have my sacred space. I need to, I don't want to really call it sacred. I need my safe place. My art studio is my safe place. It is not who, I, it is not what I do. It's who I am. So I learned a huge valuable lesson with this. Um, I hope it helps. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Um, I'm still going to play here just because I can. Just because I can. Um, and, you know, I hope, I hope you can find your space. And I hope you can create uh, the space that you need. And, you know, don't forget that when you have to go somewhere, this is all part of who you are now. It's not just what you do. All right. Um, now what I'm going to do, as always, I always like to do the backs of these. So I'm just going to flip this over. I'm going to leave that right where it is. And I'm going to put this on fast forward. I'm going to play around on the back. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this month's review. Again, it was just something that I had to um, art out and understand why I was feeling the way I was and what happens and, and what I need to do so that I don't get that uneasy feeling anymore. So I think what will happen with me in the future is I am going to um, make my carts or make my to-go bag um, something that's going to give me that satisfaction of being able to art and create. And with the supplies that I had with me, that it didn't do it. It didn't cut it. So I'm, I've learned a lot about what art says to me and how I feel about art. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, let me go ahead. I'm going to fast forward. We're going to play around and we'll be back at the end. Enjoy.
Okay, so here we go. Um, this was awesome. I <laughs> I threw on my headset. Um, I have this headset that's wireless, which uh, works fabulous. Um, I put on my headset. I listen to music that makes me upbeat, that makes me happy, that makes me um, create, calm, inspired, all of those different words. And then I just look around me and I just start playing. And um, I know one of the issues um, some people have with the freedom in their work is the fact that they don't know where to start. So I just took a blank page and I looked over on my cart. I've got some tape on there. All right, let's throw some tape down. And it just, you continue to play and you just continue to build up the layers and just have fun. Um, this was a card I don't even know where I got her from. Um, I just thought she was cool and this is really um, what I need to feel. And this expressed um, exactly what I'm feeling right now by having my place back, um, meaning my space, meaning my art room. Um, I can come in, I can shut the door if I want, I can turn the music up as loud as I want, I can play. Um, and it's my, my safe place, my, my place to go. And like I said, I learned a very valuable lesson this week um, or over the last couple weeks uh, that I have to have this space. And, you know, after a long discussion last night with my husband, um, he agrees with me. I just, I'm not content. I'm not happy unless I'm in my space and creating. Now, does that mean I have to be here 24-7? Absolutely not. Um, I do, you know, get out and go to dinner and, you know, whatever else we need to do. Go grocery shop and that kind of stuff. It's not like I'm just stuck in my room. Um, I do leave. But... With that being said, I need holes in this so I can put this in my creative yearbook. So instead of measuring and all that happy stuff, which I never do, I am just pulling out the folder. And I know my holes have to be over here. Whoops, wrong way. So I'm just going to put this together. And I'm just going to poke some holes. Punch some holes, I should say if this is not too thick. Perfect. One done. Um, so yeah, so you know, chronic pain is, it's a game changer and it's a life changer. And if you have found somewhere that you can um, go to get away from that chronic pain, even if it's just for a little while, I gotta glue that back down, that's fine. Um, you know, make sure that you have that space available to you, um, if possible, on a daily basis. Because without it, um, I, myself, uh, tend to just kind of go a little bit stir-crazy and just not happy. And um, I don't need to be that way. I have, enough, I have enough other things to deal with with the chronic pain on top of, um, you know, everything else. I don't need... I really don't need that extra aggravation. So, here we go. This is March's folder that I just put back in. Um, here is my March review. And again, I'm sorry it's not a book. I do have my books. Um, some of them have been unpacked, but some of them are still up north. So, you know, when I get that stuff done, I will come back in and maybe play around with this some more um, as far as reviews. But, yeah, you know, just... Make sure you have a place for you and don't be shy to, um, you know, let your spouse know or let your significant other know or, you know, that I have to have this space and it's, it's good for me physically as well as mentally, right? So don't forget, you know, we all need that, especially when we live in the pain we do daily. All right, enough of that. I hope you guys go out and have a beautiful day. Um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will answer all the questions um, in the comments below. And uh, definitely check out and see what our other artists are doing this month. Uh, I know we have a lot of stuff going on. So there's going to be a lot of inspiration out there for you. And I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. So have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.